So tonight we uh, are excited to talk about the it factor. How many of you think you have it? <laughs> you know. Now I said how many of you think you have it, but how many of you know you have it? <laughs> all right, all right, that's better. All right, so I want to just jump right into some of these questions, uh, and then we're going to give you all an opportunity to ask the questions that you want to ask as well. Um, but I'm going to start with um, Robbie, and then Lori can uh, answer it right after Robbie is done. The very first question I want to ask is, can you explain your day-to-day -day responsibilities and role in your assignment as the vice president of talent and casting of original programming at BET? Um, so I, I haven't been in this position very long. I w was freelance for much, much longer. So it's really different for me. Um, but what I mainly do is oversee all of the projects that we have in production and pre-production, um, whatever, whatever projects have talent then I am, am involved. Um, I do some casting, but I really do manage mostly um, and oversee and supervise. So I hire um, freelance casting directors to come in and do some of the shows and be the day-to-day -day point people. Um, but I still you know, have my hand in it and keep my finger on the pulse of all of the um, new talent that's out there and, and make suggestions of who we can be in business with and should be in business with, and that's pretty much it. Lori? Um, I'm, I actually have a similar job to Robbie. I oversee all the casting at the CW Network, and I was at NBC for a very long time. It was 14 years through a lot of administrations, and then UPN, and now the CW. And in between those jobs, um, I've been a casting director working on different television shows. So I think that I feel the best casting executives are former casting directors, or in your case, you still get to do both, mm -hmm. because um, you just understand what the cast directors and the producers go through and having to... Uh, appease people at the networks and the studios. And uh, what, I, what I love about my job is, is getting to work on a lot of projects and meet a lot of different kinds of people and cast a lot of different roles. Um, but I did love being a casting director. My career kind of went this way, but, but that's a great job too and I love doing both jobs. So Lori, how would you define the it factor? And you know, do you know when you see it, when someone walks into the room? The it factor to me is just something that a certain person has that's tricky to define, but I know it when I see it. Um, there are actors that I have met through the years that are very, very obvious. Um, I met Julia Roberts before she had done much of anything, and literally she stood in the doorway and there was like an angelic glow around her. <laughs> before she even spoke, there was just that, such star presence that I couldn't believe it. And then she flashed the million dollar smile. Okay. So that was obvious, few people have that. I think an it factor is, um, it's a combination of talent and confidence. Yeah. And if you have talent and no confidence or confidence and no talent, it won't happen. So the best thing I could advise young actors to do is to make sure your skills are as sharp as they can be. And to whatever grooming or dress or hair or makeup or anything that makes you feel confident, go for it. It's more important that you feel it than I feel it, because if you feel it, it's more likely that I'm gonna feel it. But it is really a lot about confidence. And if you walk into a casting situation and you're really wobbly on your skills or whether you're right for the part or if you're nervous or you just had a fight with your boyfriend or whatever it is, it's not gonna happen for you. You have to really put yourself in the moment and get to that point of your career so that every audition is an A plus. And you may not get the part, but hopefully you make fans. And that's what builds into a career of what we, you know, a working actor. I won't say a star, because nobody should go into this to be a star. They should go into this to be a working actor. Yeah, and have a career. Right. Robbie? What she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, for me, it, 
it really is that. It's, uh, I feel I know it when I see it, and I, f I feel it's something innate. It exudes in the eyes and the stature and the confidence. Um, the, the way you, your posture, your, the way you carry yourself, all of those things. And um, I think, too, the advice would be every opportunity that you get, you have to really bring your A game and be as prepared as you can be. You know, um, whatever is provided for you, ask for it. You know, sides are always there, but scripts, if there is one, ask for it. Uh, get as much information as you can. Know who you're going to see in the room. Um, and just be as sure as you can be. I mean, go in owning, owning the part, you know, and take those five minutes. And as if, you know, that is the only five minutes you have to, to do and show us what you can.